If you're a newbie looking for some pointers on the whole cake party thing, or a veteran confused about the point 0.169 changes, this is the right video for you. As of patch 0.169, a cake party is a gathering of players in one player or the host's housing plot to make celebration cakes. This is a recipe which can be obtained from Reth, the cooking guild leader, for 3000 gold after reaching cooking level 9. The host sets up stations for each ingredient or step for the cake, which each guest will stand at to fulfill their role in the party. As long as someone helps out in cooking an item, they get the full reward as if they cooked it all themselves. With celebration cakes, there are 18 individual steps, where if any one person does any of them, they get three cakes out of it even without using ingredients. There are currently now six roles that don't require ingredients. When someone is hosting a cake party for 60 cakes, it means you need 60 sets of ingredients for your role, if you are any of the other 12 roles. So everyone will get 60 times three per round, which is 180 cakes total from a party of 60 recipes. The recipe for one yield of three cakes would be one blueberry, four butter, three eggs, three flour, four sweet leaf, one milk, three fruit, and three sugar. All the following info will be for a star apple cake party. These are just the cakes that yield the highest possible price for cakes in general. The rules are as follows. One person with 60 star quality blueberries. This person is the starter. Four people with 60 sweet leaf each. These are the leafers. There are three people with 60 butter, 60 eggs, and 60 flour. These are the batterers. One person with 60 milk and 60 butter. This person is the froster. Three people with 60 star apples and 60 sugar each. These are the fruiters or fruit frosting makers or fruit frosters. Three people will work the ovens. They don't need ingredients and they are the bakers. Three people will spread the fruit frosting onto the baked cake layers. They also don't need ingredients and they are the spreaders or icers. In terms of procedure, one way it's seen is as follows. One star quality blueberry will be used to start the cake by the starter. Four sweet leaves will get ground together by four different leafers. One butter, one egg, one flour, and one of the ground sweet leaf will then be stirred by the three batterers to make our cake batter. Then our three oveners or bakers will be able to use the batter to begin baking our three cake layers, which takes 10 seconds each and you just gotta make sure they don't burn. After this, three of our fruiters or fruit frosting makers will make the inner frosting for our three cake layers by stirring one sugar and one of any fruit. Simultaneously, Simultaneously, one butter and one milk and that remaining ground sweet leaf will then be stirred to make the outer frosting by the froster. Finally, those three spreaders will be able to spread the icing on the fresh cakes and the starter will construct the final cake with the three layers that have the icing on them as well as the frosting on top. Everyone will receive the loot and the process repeats for however many the cake is planned for and this can be any number really but typically have have seen 30, 60, 50, and 100. All 18 bakers in this 60 cake scenario will receive 180 cakes. If you sell them as is, you should get between 26,000 and 47,000 gold. If you put them through worm farms, you get between 30,000 and 50,000 gold. If you put them through glow worm farms, you'll get between 28,000 and 47,000 gold. This means that regular farm worm farms generate more gold than the glow worm farms do, but they do need to be emptied more often. The glow worm farms are harder to craft due to the materials that are more difficult to obtain, but can net you more profit if you do end up using all the glowworms to fish and then sell the fish that you catch. 
In a best case scenario, if you processed all 180 cakes and they happened to all be star quality, which doesn't usually happen, you would end up with 900 glowworms and 5,040 speedy grow fertilizer. If you fished with all of those worms, you would make 25,000 gold from the fertilizer and at a minimum of 350 gold per fish for the 900 glowworms, you would make at least 315,000 gold. Some pros and cons when it comes to these cake parties are inevitable, so I'll list a couple as follows. Ultimately, the devs mentioned that they felt the cake parties were initially making too much money and reduced it in this patch. This process also meant that the recipe changed and those of us that had a lot of jams saved up now have no use for them as it's no longer part of the recipe. Between the organizing and the fact that cakes can take an average of about a minute to make each even with the full party, these parties can be upwards of 3 hours long to make 100 cakes, and the monotony can set in and players can get a little bit antsy. Some pros though are that they are genuinely a blast. Group cooking can be a lot of fun. The community is just really felt in this aspect. You really feel, you know, a part of something, a part of the bakers. And between the chats and the laughs, it's a great time. It's also pretty amazing for leveling the cooking skill. It goes up significantly even without the food in the focus bar. And if you're looking to get your cooking to a certain level, this might be the way to do it. The barrier to entry is also very low. So it's great for beginners who need gold, uh, which this game can require a lot of. And in that sense, uh, because of the six free rolls, it just makes it a cool way to share resources in game with newer players. So those of us that have access to the app Apples, especially star quality ingredients, it's nice to be able to share that with other players. In terms of how to access these parties, typically these parties are going to be organized in the official Palea Discord. There's different looking for game sections and you can post in these threads. You'll usually find something that looks like this with a title explaining everything that you're going to need to know in terms of the quality of the party and the quantity. If you go in, you'll see the post itself, which may or may not state some rules, show you a map, etc, etc. There is this website which was made to help organize these parties and is pretty typical in these threads as well. Spots are usually first come first serve, but it does depend on the host's rules. After securing a spot for your preferred role, you'll just follow the host on when to add them and when to arrive, etc. This can obviously vary from person to person as I've said. Posting in the thread though can be helpful just to let them know you have signed up. You'll wait for the roles to fill up and the party will eventually begin. In attending, try to follow the host's rules and just be polite. Tips for each role are as follows. The starter will be at a prep station. Regardless if your blueberries are starred or not, you have to check off the use star quality ingredients box. This box allows your group to use star quality ingredients, but does not require it. If you don't check this box, the fruiters cannot use star quality fruit, which is a problem because most of these fruiters are going to have star quality fruit. Most groups will actually require you to lock your regular blueberries just to make sure you can't even start unless that star quality box is checked. Leafers, you will all be at a mixing station. It's recommended that you put your butter in locked storage as well as possibly your fruit or your sugar, even your milk. Batterers, you will also be at mixing stations. It is recommended that you lock your milk, your sweet leaves, and any other items that you don't need. Again, the menus do jump around quite a bit, and so the more orderly, the less mistakes, the better. Fruiters or fruit frosting makers, you will also be at mixing stations. And before you start, you might want to put away your butter and sweet leaves. Again, just to ensure less mistakes. Be mindful as the fruit frosting makers that your group leader might require you to use a specific kind of fruit. This is just usually to maximize your vendor value of your cakes as well as give you all the best chance of star quality cake. 
For the froster, you will also be at a mixing station. And before you start, it's recommended that you put flour or eggs in your locked storage. You can also hide your sweet leaf. There is no rush in being the froster because the frosting is used in one of the final steps. It's recommended to wait until all three fruiters are done making their fruit frosting and the cakes are either baked or being baked before you start your final frosting. The bakers will be at ovens. This roll is considered a free pass and you again don't need to bring any materials. All you're going to do is pay attention to when the batterers have finished their task and you'll put only one cake of the three that are available and take it out after 10 seconds. Be sure not to burn it spreaders you will be at prep stations this role is also considered a free pass because you don't need any ingredients but after the cakes come out of the oven you will be spreading one of the fruit frostings of course after that is ready as well so this role is going to be waiting on both the cakes to be ready and the fruit frosting to be ready in order to complete their step after this happens the starter of course will then finish the cake off So say though that you prefer to try to host your own party. This will take a bit of time to achieve first. Once you reach a certain point, you should have enough materials for all the parts you need, which are a total of four prep stations, 11 mix stations, and three standard ovens. This comes out to being at least level four cooking, 284 sapwood planks, 48 copper bars, 92 ceramic, 45 stone bricks, and 33 fabric. If if you just want to buy all of the materials without having to farm them yourself, you can spend 13,536 gold at both Tish's store for fabric and Sifu's store for the rest of the materials. There's probably an endless number of ways to set up a cake party and even more ways to decorate one if you're into that as well. The process from there after you have everything set up is essentially the same through the official discord, but this time you would be creating your own thread and using your own site if that's how you prefer unless you would rather just update your own post or of course host however you see fit. Organizing can be some more work but it can be nice to pick your own role and yes I have seen some hosts pick a free role of oven or spreader. Here's one of my post examples and some other post examples. I tend to add some rules and a picture of taken highlighting the role areas as sort of a map for the guests to find where they're meant to go. I then keep the title of the thread updated as needed until we fill all of the roles and I'll regularly post the link of the website to the bottom of the thread for easy access and just to bump the thread back up to the top for everyone to see. You can choose to set up inside your home, outside your home, or like me on a separate plot altogether. As host, occasionally people might mention being stuck. This can happen especially to the ovens. Essentially, they cannot move and are unable to make any selections. They are able to enter forward slash unstuck in the chat to fix it themselves. However, as the host, you are able to change them from visitor to editor and they'll then be able to enter the each menu and exit the each menu. It will also fix the issue a little bit faster. They seem to be improving this and hopefully this won't be an issue in future updates. Seeing what other people have thought up for their parties makes attending just as rewarding as hosting. If there's one thing I've enjoyed seeing, it's the creativity from some of these parties, and in this game in general. This party idea is being used to complete other cooking accomplishments, to make focus food, or bake other goods. I'm just generally excited to see where the Paleo community goes with these gatherings. Whether you're just getting started in baking, or you're getting ready to throw your own parties, or you're a cake expert, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more Paleo content or other cozy gaming content, please feel free to subscribe. I also stream live on Twitch if you want to catch me there. Please enjoy the photos, and wherever you are in the world, have a lovely time zone. See you next time. Bye.